Human activities each year collectively put more than 40 billion tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. We all know that global demand for energy is increasing and the challenge we face today is to meet demand while reducing our carbon footprint. Carbon removal now needs to be thought of as plan A when it comes to climate change. It might sound shocking, but carbon capturing has been in operation since 1972 in the United States, where several natural gas plants in Texas captured and stored more than 200 million tons of CO2 underground. Now, how does it work? Carbon capture and storage is a three-step process, which involves separating, separating carbon dioxide from other gases which are produced by industrial activity and power generation. After the separation stage, CO2 then is compressed and transported via pipelines, road transport or even ships to a site for storage. And the third and final step involves CO2 being injected into rock formations deep under the ground for permanent storage. Now here are countries that are promoting carbon capture and storage facilities to tackle their carbon footprint. The US and Canada account for over 65% of annual capture capacity. In the US alone, the Inflation Reduction Act provides a significant boost to carbon capturing. In Canada, on the other hand, the 2022 federal budget proposed an investment tax credit for carbon capturing. Now, the European Union has continued support for carbon capturing through regional funding programs. Even national subsidy schemes have supported carbon capturing in Europe. Then we look at Asia where Korea announced plans to invest up to $1.2 billion to develop carbon capturing and storing technologies by 2030. Now, unlike carbon capture and storage, which by itself only prevent additional carbon dioxide from entering the atmosphere, direct air capture extracts CO2 molecules already present in the atmosphere, which makes direct air capture a negative emission technology. According to scientists, only once CO2 is isolated, using either carbon capture or direct air capture, it can be used to make products such as building materials or green aviation fuel. Now, an important question arises here. Is storing carbon safe? According to Global Carbon Capture and Storage Institute, carbon capture is a proven technology that has been in safe operation for over 45 years. 